Now, if you find yourself running out of disk space or memory storage on your smartphone, tablet, laptop, or desktop, and you're trying to figure out what are you going to do with it? Or let's say you process large files like I do. Like I work with really large files, especially when I work with videos. Well, you want to think about a storage solution that's going to be fast, something that's going to be redundant, and something that's going to be super convenient and small. And well, today we're covering all those things with this solution. Uh, this is from Cases, and this is a 40 gigabit Thunderbolt enclosure that has the ability to store like massive amount of data. We're talking about 32 terabytes of data, and it is literally the size of my palm. Let's get right to it. Now we're talking about a solution that is super solid. Check this out. No joke, this is solid. It basically has a built-in turbo cooling fan, uh, can support four eight terabyte NVMEs, total of 32 terabytes, 40 gigabit Thunderbolt type access. Like This is like crazy fast. Um, it also has four RAID configurations that you can have. You can have PM mode, RAID 0, RAID 1, and then you have large mode. So pretty much it, it refers to each one of those four styles or modes, determines how it's going to store the memory that you have inside. So for example, or access it rather. So for example, some of those modes, so here you'll notice that I can have up to four different NVMEs, and depending on which one you choose, these will be treated separately as four drives. You can combine them where you're working off two and the other one is like a backup and storage, or you can have them all act as one drive. So as you make those choices, you'll be determining how you use it. Now, this is all aluminum. No joke aluminum. You can hear that. This is super solid. And the cool thing about this aluminum body is that it is uh, heat dissipating type uh, aluminum. So it's not going to get hot. I've been running this like nonstop all day, running files in it, and it hasn't really, uh, I haven't seen any kind of peak in heat. Um, and then also, uh, given the technology, the way it's set up is that you could daisy chain these with other devices. So if you have multiple of these, 32, 32, 32, 32, you can connect them all together and daisy chain them. So this is like probably the most solid uh, storage solution that I've had in a long time. And I mean solid, not just by the way it works, but by the way it feels and how it's constructed. So let's take a closer look. Now, this solution comes with several accessories, the power adapter, as well as different uh, I would say configuration options, depending on the size of the NVMe that you're using. And then it has all these little plugs that you're going to be able to use. But really, I wanted to focus on, and you're going to see this, um, how it performs in a couple seconds, really wanted to focus on the main chassis because that's where all the magic is. And the cool thing about this is that this is a toolless solution. No tools required. Even as I'm putting this enclosure, so look, this is the, ba this is the actual uh, turbo cooling fan. And I want to show you what does it take for me to connect it. Did you miss it? <laughs> Let's do that one more time. One more time. Watch it closely. It's going to happen again. We're going to go ahead and add it. <laughs> yeah, that's all it takes. It is super convenient. And the fact that as soon as you connect it, that's all it takes. And I'm going to open this up one more time so you can see that here basically you have your contact points that connect with these contact points that basically enable the fan, the fan function for this. And like I said, this is solid. This is no joke. Uh, here you'll be able to connect four of these, um, and you already heard the capacity, so up to uh, 32 terabytes worth of storage. And basically what you have is on the back here, you have uh, some connections. So you have uh, one of your connections that you'll be able to connect to your PC, and then the one that you can use for daisy chaining, your power uh, brick, that it is a, a significantly uh, powerful brick. It's not a small brick, it's a, one of the larger bricks. You'll notice it's not powered via USB-C which I wonder if that would have been a better choice. Don't know. I'm kind of indifferent right now, but because of the speed and the power I'm getting through this, I'm kind of like indifferent right now. Uh, you have the feed itself, and then basically in the front, you have lights for each one of the NVMEs and then your power button. And this could sit this way. This could sit this way. I don't know if I'd want it sitting this way because this is where your fan is because you want to keep that clear, but this is how I've been having it on my Mac Studio. So... For me, this is super convenient because it is fast, it is powerful, and it's expandable, and I can just expand it as I need. I have not been using it in a RAID array because I'm using this for storing videos that I'm editing and using this almost like a hub for my editing. So I'm able to take videos like this that I'm recording right now, dump it onto here, and then I can edit directly from this. And I have this hardwire connected to my Mac. That's how I'm using it. Now, here's my workflow. I'll just share with you kind of like the files that I process and why I like this solution. So I have a lot of different drives right here connected. Let me go ahead and disconnect this thing. And these two, the T7 Black and the T7, are the ones that I work off on video. 
Uh, so I'm running here a Mac Studio. And I want to show you, I have two files here, 7.58 gig, and then I also have one that's 1.97 gig. And what we're going to do is we're going to transfer it to, I'm going to try to access it. That'll be one of the things we'll do, but I also am going to do some transfers. So here's um, another NVMe that's on the same um, unit. And what I'm going to do is take from this, so this is a 1.97 gig file, and I'm going to drop it onto this one right here, just like this. And we're going to see how fast it's going to go. And... I don't know if you saw it because I didn't see it because it went so fast. Let's do it one more time. We're going to bring it over, let it go. It did before it, it did transfer over. We're going to do replace. Now watch this. That was fast, right? That one we actually saw because it actually stopped it. I'm going to take now a 7.58 gig file and I'm going to do the same thing. Drag it over here, let it go. And you're not seeing anything. Oh, there it goes. It is seconds, look at that. So this is almost a 10 gig file, actually an eight gig file, 7.58 gig, and it is just crunching away. And you can see how fast this is going. So being able to move files from one machine to another or from one drive to another is really fast. And then also as I'm accessing data, it also does a really nice job of accessing data. So we'll let this go ahead and finish because again, this was a rather large file just to give you a sense of kind of like the magnitude of the speed that you're gonna get. And once this is done, we'll go ahead and try accessing one of these files as well. So we're almost done. We're at 4.5. And there it did it. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. I'm going to go ahead and delete this file. Move to trash. And we're going to do it one more time. I want to see, because that took a little bit longer than I'd like. Let's see how the speed is there. Do it again. Make sure none of my resources were actually doing it. So this is saying that it's going to take about two minutes to transfer. And you can see how quickly this is going. So, yeah, I guess uh, I guess that transfer speed that we saw was, was pretty much in line with what I would expect. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this so we'll watch the full transfer, but it looks like it's going to take about three minutes to move it from one um, NVMe to the other NVMe and actually took even less of that. Look at how it, all of a sudden it's accelerating. That was a lot faster. And it's almost done. And what I'll do is I'll put on the video how many minutes it actually took, um, even though I'll accelerate this piece, just so you can see what the full transfer speed was, because it actually picked up all of a sudden, and then it slowed down. I wonder if there's something going on in my Mac right now. There shouldn't be anything that's being processed, but uh, that was a big jump that we saw a couple of seconds ago. So we're at 6.33 gigabyte. Got to make it to 7.5. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. And it's done. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at this video. I'm going to go ahead and open it, right? So I'm going to open it up with QuickTime. Let's watch this, how fast. That was fast. You saw that was almost instantaneous, right? Let's go over here. We're going to do the dots one. I'm going to open it with QuickTime. Boom, All right? So for me, this is the key for me. The fact that I can access, I can have multiple drives on this, the fact that I can access it with the speed that you saw, and the fact that I can transfer things back and forth. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab a file from over here, and I'm going to see what I can transfer over. All right, so we're going to grab this file. Actually, we'll do, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab, that's a full directory. We're going to grab, we're going to grab a, this one right here, which is 1.47 gigabytes. Put it on this one. And we'll see, that was instantaneous, right? So it looks like it's only those really, really big files that it had uh, slowed down a little bit. Let's see, do I have anything else that's really big? Um, let's see what it does with a, six, a sub one gigabyte file. Let's go ahead and drag that over. Yeah, it's instantaneous. If I try to take the full directory, which is 9.55 gig, let's see if that's where it slows down. So it's grabbing it. Check this out. That was impressive. I wonder why the other one took a little bit longer. But you saw how quickly that file went across. So that was a full directory, 9.55, and that was instantaneous. But moving this one file, for whatever reason, it took a little bit longer than it should. We're going to do this one more time. Just want to, I'm going to dismiss this myth really quick. Let's see if I have anything that's 
pretty big that we can grab. That's a two gig one. Ah, look at this. We got a 12 gig drive right here, All right? So we're gonna do this one. Let's drag it over and see how long it takes. That's 12 gig. Yeah, something was up with that file. Look at that. That was spectacular. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.